welcome back to my channel guys today i will show you guys how to make these quick and easy fish cakes if you're new here please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss a single recipe from me now all the measurements for this recipe will be available in the description box below so i'm going to be making these fish cakes with pearl chards and i'm using lucky star you can use whichever brand that you have on hand so the first step is obviously to remove the sardines from the can and then we're just going to remove all those bones from each and every one of those um, sardines <clears throat> so next I am going to be using some tuna and you want to make sure that you're using the tuna that has been preserved inside salt water don't use the one inside vegetable oil so I'm just going to add all of that tuna inside the bowl with the deboned sardines next we're going to start with our seasoning so i'm using seafood rub if you don't have seafood rub you can use um robertson's fish spice it will work just as fine as the seafood rub and then i'm going to add some crushed garlic you need to add the powdered garlic unfortunately in this event if you've got minced garlic um fresh minced garlic it's not going to work out for you um then you can add some italian herbs um, or whichever herbs you've got mixed herbs work just perfectly fine and then I had some fresh thyme on hand so I'm also just going to add that to just um, elevate my flavor and then I've also just added some chopped coriander so we want to try and keep the ingredients that we add to this to a minimum because as you can see we want to have a smooth um, mixture so if you add things like crushed garlic for example it just creates um, more possibility to, for separation of your ingredients which is what we're trying not to have so I'm just giving that a mix and once that's fully combined I'm going to add some moisture chai sauce and that's um, just to give it this nice vibrant uh, brown color and also just to bring um, a bit of bittersweetness into our fish cake and then next I'm adding herba that's um, a flower alternative if you are not on keto or bunting like I'm trying to be then you are more than welcome to just add normal cake flour and this is what we're going to use as our binder or you can also use breadcrumbs that will also work perfectly fine just want something to bind our fish together and this is what the texture is looking like so you're just going to mix it just to make sure that everything um, is nicely uh, mixed together and then lastly I'm adding some lemon juice lemon juice will also just help with um, odors you know when you've kept your fish cakes for like a few hours they might not start smelling very good so you just need to add a little bit of lemon juice to that just to help suppress that smell next I'm forming my fish uh, cakes you can make them in whatever size that you please to make them in I didn't want to have a lot of them I just wanted to have a few of them and obviously that would mean that it would be of a bigger size if you want to um, increase your um, flavor you can also refrigerate these for about two to three hours before you actually start frying them and then next I'm just taking some turmeric paprika and I've added the flour and that's gonna be my top coat it's as easy and as simple as that even if you're using some um, was this cake flour I've just used herba on mine but you can use um, cake flour as well and then I'm just going to add the fish cakes um, into the pot and I'm gonna evenly space them out allow them to cook and crisp up on each side before I turn it over and that will roughly take around 10 to 15 minutes depending on how thick and how wide your fish cakes are So these are the fish cakes done. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe when you've tried it out. Um, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're new. And obviously, let's continue the conversation in the comment section. And I'll definitely see you guys next time. Thank you. Goodbye.